Introduction to Oracle Cloud Infrastructure Autonomous Data Warehouse Oracle Cloud Infrastructure Autonomous Data Warehouse provides all the performance of the market-leading Oracle database in an environment that is tuned and optimized for data warehouse workloads. Set up a high-powered data warehouse in less than a minute by answering just five questions. How many CPUs do you want? How much storage do you need? What's your password? What's the database name? What's a brief description? Additionally, Autonomous Data Warehouse does not require any tuning and is designed as a load-and-go service. You start the service, define tables, load data, and then run queries. The service automatically configures the database for high-performance queries. Why use Autonomous Data Warehouse? Here are some of the benefits. Quick to deploy. Business users can now build their own data warehouse, data mart, or sandbox in seconds. No IT skills required. Benefit from fully automated management, fully automated patching, and upgrades. Lower costs with elasticity. Scale your data warehouse on demand. Independently scale compute or storage. Shut off idle compute to save money. Secure your data. Strong data encryption, switched on by default, ensures your data is fully protected. Protect your investment. Continue to use your favorite business analytics tools. Grow your capabilities. Engage in the full spectrum of business analytics, data integration, IoT, and more, all in the cloud as an integrated solution. Autonomous Data Warehouse includes a cloud-based service console for monitoring the service for tasks such as viewing the recent levels of activity on the data warehouse. Autonomous Data Warehouse also includes a cloud-based notebook application, which provides simple querying, data visualization, and collaboration capabilities. The notebook is designed to be used alongside other business intelligence applications. Here's a quick walkthrough of the service and operations. To access Autonomous Data Warehouse, go to the Oracle Cloud Infrastructure Console and click the Navigation menu. Under Database, click Autonomous Data Warehouse. This will list all existing ADW instances, if any. Creating a new ADW instance is simple and super quick. Provisioning takes less than one minute for any size of data warehouse. Click the Create Autonomous Data Warehouse button to get started. A dialog box opens. Enter the details such as display name and database name. Determine CPU count, 1 to 128, and storage, 1 terabyte to 128 terabytes. You can always scale up or down later. Next, Enter the administrator credentials, choose the license type, and click Create Autonomous Data Warehouse. After a brief provisioning window, you will see the Autonomous Data Warehouse listed as available. Click the instance to view details. Users can perform various management operations on their data warehouse. Access the Service Console. This opens another web browser console. Click Overview to see the activity details on the dashboard. Under Administration, click Download Client Credentials to download the client credentials for the MySQL Developer Tool. You can scale up and down the CPUs 1 to 128 and storage 1 terabyte to 128 terabytes from here. You can also change the password for your Autonomous Data Warehouse admin user. Enter the new password, confirm the new password, and then click Update. The Restore feature allows you to restore a specific timestamp. You can choose to stop instances from this page. When you stop an instance, billing stops for the associated CPUs but continues for storage. Additionally, you can apply tags for your instance.
Tagging allows you to organize and track resources within your tenancy. Tags are composed of keys and values which can be attached to resources. You can also terminate instances from this page. When you terminate an instance, billing stops for both CPUs and storage. This bucket must follow the guidelines, as in the Manual Backup section of Oracle Help Center. You must initialize database properties for the bucket as mentioned in the document. Backups are automatic, and a customer has the option to take a full, on-demand backup anytime, as well as an ability to restore to point-in-time backup. Click the Create Manual Backup button. You must create and configure an Oracle Cloud Infrastructure Object Storage Bucket to hold your autonomous data warehouse manual backups. This is a one-time operation. Then click Create. A manual backup will be created in the pre-configured object storage bucket. Autonomous Data Warehouse Cloud uses the same Oracle database software and technology that runs your existing on-premises marts, data warehouses, and applications, making it compatible with all your existing data warehouse, data integration, and BI tools. In summary, Oracle Cloud Infrastructure Autonomous Data Warehouse brings in a new standard of simplicity and a new level of self-service. Please go to the Oracle Cloud Infrastructure Portal to learn more. Be sure to sign up for the free trial and get started right away.